everyone. I'm Darby and I'm going to go ahead and let this time lapse of my piece play in the background while I go ahead and give my presentation. Just a little warning is that this does have the topic of the sexual assault and does depict nudity. If that makes you uncomfortable, you can go ahead and stop watching now. My art during the past year has been centered around the feelings and mental state I've been in during COVID. COVID has given me the time to be close to my family and contemplate my anxiety. As a result, I have found a new appreciation for my own body and have discovered resolution in myself as an artist. I've had the time to focus on experiencing this through the representation of figures close to me. I've included various self-portraits as well as portraits of my significant others and family members. In most of my work, the color palette is used to infer emotion and how I, f I as the artist, feel about the person I present. Using the figure to convey emotion and self-reflection is something I have always done. Recently, I've taken steps to further focus on my lifestyle to create while in a healthy environment. I started by reading The Deep Zoo by Yuki Don't Connect. This inspired me to further self-reflect about what I create as an artist and what I, it means to me rather than everyone else. So I set out a goal to make my own deep zoo image. As I understood, Riki Donknet's a deep zoo image can be something that happened to you at uh, any point in your life. This uh, would affect the way that you create and what things mean to you. My deep zoo image references the sexual assault I experienced as a child. My passion for consistently depicting human figures stems from reclaiming one's body after experiencing abuse. The mixed emotions one would struggle with feeling after, um, like feeling like their body wasn't theirs anymore, um, is a complicated concept to depict in art. Since it's always been quite a taboo topic in today's culture. Therefore, I created an image based on the experience that I had after trauma. The drawing depicts a figure laying on a flat surface. The figure seems to be sleeping, but in discomfort. The background is shadowed with hands floating around the figure. The hands show various gestures, such as pointing an accusation a claw form as if trying to grab, but most importantly, the hands that make contact with the figure. One reaches for the neck and the other her thigh. These are what my body remembers, the ones that trigger my anxiety attacks. Although I don't know much of what happened to me, my mind and body remember the trauma even more than I might recognize. The recognition and understanding of this trauma is essential to appreciating oneself and accepting the lifestyle we've lived in. This piece of artwork would inspire those conflicted with trauma to reclaim who they are and be the best version of themselves for the world to see. Creating this piece wasn't easy. It was mentally exhausting. And I realized that I needed a healthier way of creating such work that won't tax on one's soul. That's when I found Sean Tucker's The Meaning in the Making. This book offered a way of creating lifestyle to help artists digest the feelings that they use in their work. It includes making time for yourself to breathe and meditate without pure focus on challenging topics. The book encouraged me to find what makes me happy while creating. It also shed light on how to live outside your work.
keeping a schedule and planning time to be alone with your thoughts, but not to plan on what to think. Learning to be more precise with what you say when you create. It also helped me understand things like my ego and the envy I feel about other artists, how to process critique in a more meaningful way, uh, the meaning of other people's art and how to, you know, digest it and bring it to your own, um, time management and, um, you know, appreciation for myself and others. This kind of stuff I hope stays with me for the rest of my life and the rest of my creations from now on. It was crucial for me to take the time for myself while creating my deep suit image. It was a really heavy topic that kind of consumed me and it would make me sad for a long time. Even after I'd done, you know, working on the drawing for the day, it was something that was kind of all consuming and it would, you know, bring up those memories of bad times and make life harder to just exist. <laughs> but what I realized when I was creating it was that it was helping me get through these emotions that I feel about it. It was helping me understand what, you know, I went through and how to move on and how to create my own body confidence through my art. The book it really helped me understand that it's just as important to have separation from my work as well as being connected to it. Throughout the future projects on this topic, I will keep a healthy mindset and tell the truth through my art. I hope you've enjoyed the time lapse of my piece, and if you are interested, in reading or listening to any of the sources I've used, so the book or the essay, let me know and I can send you some easy links. And they are also cited in my essay that will be posted as well. Thank you guys so much for your attention. And you can go ahead and watch the rest of the time lapse if you feel like it or just get to the end and see the final project. Thank you. Bye.